What's up, folks? It's Sudden Feast on Wolf Springs. It is that time for another NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. That's right. We're ready to have a next matchup for you. It's the Milwaukee Bucks facing against Miami Heat. And they are at Miami at the Kaseya Center. This is one of our going to be our best games ever between of Giannis on the Kufo and Jimmy Butler. The part of the matchup is right in between, ready to go. Damian Lillard is with Malik Beasley, Chris Middleton with Giannis on the Kufo, and it's Brooke Lopez in center guard. And in Miami Heat, we have Terry Rozier III with Tyler Hero. Jimmy Butler is with Bam on the bio, and Haywood Heisman is a point forward position. Now let's get you started here. Next up I have is Kevin Harlan along with the crew of 2K Sports and David Aldrich on the sideline. We'll see you all later for the postgame show. Let the games begin. Miami, let's play baseball. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. A Sunday afternoon with the NBA here on Two K Sports. Welcome everyone. And our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Miami Heat here in Miami. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight. David Aldridge. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis slide in at the small and power forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at center. And for the Heat, the wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at power forward. And these are two veteran-laden teams, Steve, battle-tested, and they know what's required to get it done. Totally right, Kevin. Young teams don't usually win a lot of games. It takes time to learn the ins and outs of this league. So the Bucks win the tip. Willard, the pass to Giannis. Bucks passing it around. Basket, Brooke Lopez. Good read from Malik. Noticing the overcommitment and Easy. making the defense. Beasley. And here's Rozier who brings it up for the Miami Heat. Right side, Butler. Hero passes to Rogier over to the left wing. Hero against Beasley. Five to shoot. Here's Butler. And he gets me. One drop. Butler. Okay, Jimmy. He is doing his thing from mid-range. From Jeffy. From Bam on fire. Tower Hero. Here's Butler. And he dropped the shot. And number two. 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 Terry Rogier. Her. His first personal foul. First team foul. Initial free throws of the game right the line, Colonel Walkie. Dane Lillard. Two shots. for a little. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Okay, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. And that chess match is where they hope to improve. Good on both. We've seen them put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Rozier kicks to Hero. And the best to want to buy him. Because he typically Tyler Hero. Lillard outside. Middleton flying, touches Kubo. Here's Lopez. The kick out to Under Kubo. Giannis on the group of them. He's this from Lopez. Lopez. He is impossible to guard. Pastor Rogier to the left wing. 
Butler deciding where to go with it. Hero on the wing. Pass to Rogier. And it's Terry Rogier. Is what makes Jimmy Jimmy Butler. Bucks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Three pointer Lillard. It's hauled in by Hero. For Miami, they've got their first three shots to go in for them. They start off this game. Adebayo passes to Hero. Fires from deep. And Terry Shears! Three! Tyler keeping his eyes up. Tyler Hero. Open, delivers a great pass. <laughs> he just bangs down. Chris Bill to one hand. Mm, two very easy points right here. Well, it was Miami winning their last game against the Bulls. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a group. You know, I love what the coaches did tonight. They pushed the right buttons time and time again. Now here's Middleton, following the miss by Bam Adebayo. Middleton up for Giannis. Giannis. He is this for make a big Chris Biltis. You've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley oop blocks. Oh, no. 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 Number five, Melly Beasley. His first personal foul. His first team foul. He thrives and gains that Shooting for Miami. Tyler Hero. Ball moving like a line two shots. Hero isn't afraid of stepping up with the game on the line. Miami Heat has a strong culture, and they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. And so he makes both from the line. Believe it or not, the regular season is almost over. Great for teams that are out of the playoff picture. What's important now? I, I think, Kevin, first you need to self-evaluate. You have to check out your roster, who do you keep, who do you let go, and then once you figure that out, you start thinking about which guys to win. And it's Rozier missing. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. They learn from deep three-point land, and it's Miami with the rebound. Right side, Butler. Shit! Three! Butler! Terry Rozier, yeah, the Bruce. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Bucks, I know. The Bucks decide to take their first time out here. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the chart. There's been a drop-off in the rebounding numbers. He seems to be getting out-muscled on the glass in a way we didn't see earlier in the season. In his last 10 games, the totals have taken a huge hit. Now, here's Lillard. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Magic in Orlando. Passes it to Rozier. Back to Butler. Here's Heisman. Scoreless thus far. Rozier kicks him up. Good ball movement here by Miami. It's thrown about to Kumbo. Lillard outside. And Dionis launches it. And again, the Bucks miss. Miami leading by three. Rozier, the pass to Autobahn. Here's the three. And Taylor Weissman! Three! And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it.
moves it up for the Bucks. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game in. They didn't do that defensively. They looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. And Miami has possession. Only the miss by Malik Beasley from deep. Haywood! Nice pass! It's been funny. Look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out step by step, valuing each possession. Here's Middleton, and he can't stop this drop. Another miss. Ogier with the ball. Out guarded by Giannis. Out of bio against Middleton. Against and Focus and efficient. Time out. Doing at the offensive end. Time out called the box. And recently, too, we've seen Bam at a step it up on the offensive end. Greg is always excited to see a great player take it to another level. He's obviously even more comfortable than ever attacking the hoop. Number 55. Duncan. What would say? they completely melt down, they should be in a good position for a playoff run. And of course, Miami. They're five spots away. And you know, for the Heat, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some holes. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the ball all along. They have enough to compete. Now you two minutes. Dose. Momento. Here's Hawkins. Other pass to Hawkins. Shoots over Crowder. Jamie Hawkins Jr. From Jimmy Butler. Of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip, just doing the job on the backboard. Running the pass to Butler. Now Robinson from outside the arc. Gallinari with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. To the middle. There's Portis and Bobby Portis Jr. This is what they want to see. Portis finishing strong inside, making his presence felt. Right outside. The pass to Hawkins. Butler on the way. Shot clock at six. Hawkins, the pass to Butler. He could not go. Oh, stop. Jimmy Carter. 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 Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. And for Jimmy Butler. Shooting. He's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs it. Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. First free throw is good. So when we're talking about team identities, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough nosed, aggressive, and hard working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. And so Butler nails both of them. He's really the heartbeat of the team. Jimmy Butler means so much to this locker room. Allen on the outside, and Connaughton has it in the corner. Six to the back. Connaughton. Connaughton's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Milwaukee. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave over. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Robinson kicks to right. Goes up on the wing. Jokic. 
No good on that one. Out to the wing. And the wide open shot from Connaughton. And there's the walking foul. Time, Number nine. Bobby and Boyd Jr. He's first for the game. Sports 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 Second team foul. Third team foul. Butler, three outside. And the last second. That's the end of the first quarter. Miami Heat, 24. Terrific effort at the defensive end. Milwaukee Bucks, 15. Heat out front, up nine. Live from Miami, you're watching 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Miami? They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball at their focus. And also, they've been draining mid-range jump shots, measuring the defense well, and just taking what they give them. Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Hawkins in at the fourth spot. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Duncan Robinson. Lillard from outside. Hawkins with the rebound. Eight, even by 11. Back to Rozier. Pass to Huggin. Three pointer, Butler. G! For me! Butler! Great three! Jimmy Butler. Over in the corner, on the Goomba. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Outside, Robinson. Butler against on the Goomba. Outside Butler. Ox to Kubo pulls it in. Bucks trail by 14. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis Adentacupo remains so consistent. He said, I want to get to the position that my game is boring. People don't talk about it. I do it every Me. night. Me! Butler! Great. The best players never get bored. They always give their best every given night. That's my mindset. Malik Beasley. Oh, DA, for three. Love it. Thank you so much for the report. The defense always has to be aware of Beasley beyond the arc. He's the last guy you want to give any space to. On their pass to Rozier. Beasley against Robinson. Rubio. Duncan Robinson. Only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And a little under two and a half minutes gone. Giannis Sargent with Butler. The playmaking skills of Damian Lillard. So well and recognizes when they've left a teammate uncovered. Now, here's Rozier. He's got five. The kick outside to Butler. Pass to Hawkins. Shoot. Passes it to Hawkins. Just find the shoot. From the arc. Gary Rozier. Three. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Nobody hit Miller. Damian Miller hit the triple. And there's that competitive spirit from Jay Grotter. Marching right back and answering the call. Rozier. He's got eight. Now the pass to Hawkins. Outside Butler. Good ball movement here by Miami. Robinson kicks him up. On the wing, Rozier. Shot from 16. Terry Rozier! You know it has to help his confidence moving forward. Outside Crowder. On the wing, yes. He's got six. Pass to Lillard. Left side, Portis. 
rebound by the Heat. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Inside, here's Hawkins. Jamie Hawkins Jr. This is from Jerry Bougie. As a playmaker, passes like this help make his guys better play. Now here's Beasley. Damien Lewis from him for three. On a basis as he averages over 11 points a game. And we see him out so by the right after a change of venue. They, they change teams, certainly taking the next one. Can he that way? Yeah, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think mean, there could be a mental component as well. Uh, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. It's definitely trying some a lot of new things already, but it's just what they did. Yeah, and definitely not. They have it coming. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Starry Lines. by your local Kia dealers, a moment that inspires. Coming up will be the halftime report, as we have right now is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny Justmith and Chuck O'Neill, as we got our first half for the recap in between of the Heat and the Bucks. We'll find out how well they do after the first half has been completed. Back to you, Kevin Arlen. The Bucks also changing it up. Lopez comes in. This is the position all on the court. Number 24, Haywood Heisman. Number 14, Tyler Hero. And number 40 and 14, Kelly Martin. Over in the corner, Hero. Pass to Heisman. Miami needs to get a shot off. And it's Rogier missing. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a 14-point game. A close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Looking at the Bucks, GA, they've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, that streak should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. Guys want to play with this kid. Now, here's Rozier. Chris Middleton unable to get his last shot to go. The pass to Highsmith. Rozier with the ball. Beasley covering. Big shot on the way. And it's Martin missing. Bucks trail by 14. Here's Giannis. Giannis on the group of Keeps it in. Making it look simple. The athleticism of Giannis on full display. It's tipped. It's all about. It's a Kumbo. Pass to Lillard. Lopez outside. Wants to get to Beasley and does. It's Molly Beasley. Beasley. Beasley is the problem. Brook Lopez. There's no time right there. I like when Beasley. Two Beasley. minutes. Dos. Momento. To the paint. Hits it out to Hero. Passes it to Martin. Over in the corner, Rozier. Shoots over Miller. And Harry Rozier! He's got seven points here in this quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Outside, out of the Kubo. No good there, and that would affect the single digits. He beat by 12. There's the pass to Rozier. Back to Hero. Here's Heisman. Covered by Giannis. Does not find the mark. He's made two and missed one now. Bucks have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. And Molly Beasley. By Beasley. What an effort by Beasley inside. Not the biggest move, but he can finish strong. Outside, Mark. Pass to Hero. Good ball movement here by Miami. It's Bam Bio! That shot for Bam out of Bio. The mid 
mid-range jumper. Got a piece of Lillard from outside. Tries again. Here's Yachts. And Adebayo sends it back. And they recover it. Back to Middleton. Takes a three. Drops in the Chris train. Middleton for a three. Middleton's got a big out with a single digit. Giannis side of the ball. And that's why Middleton got that giant extension. He can stretch the floor. That's the end of the first half. Miami Heat, 44. Milwaukee Bucks, 35. Points coming right at the rim. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? Uh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. They are so much more than a physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. There was no stopping Terry Rozier in the first half. He had 12 points, two assists, and one rebound. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? They're really some great offense right now. Working the ball in good spots. Not forcing them shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? Ice cold. Frigid. 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 Can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. A nice game, great performance by Terry Rozier. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. And Milwaukee looking at who they got. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the way along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in the one spot. Here's Heisman. The kick outside to Butler. Another shot. He takes it. Is it me? He's got the first Butler. Yeah, that one for the Heat. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now here's Middleton. Three pointer to Lillard. Damian Lillard. He's for a three. Lillard's got 11. At the arc, Lillard can make any shot work. This accuracy is astounding. Hero passes to Autobahn. Now, here's Rogier. by Lillard. Hero kicks the up. Pass to Autobahn. The shot misses. Good team by Lopez. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing here by eight. Out of bounds. Milwaukee ball. Using it well with that block. Beasley for three. And a Malik Beasley for Milwaukee. For three. The defense is far too slow to close out uh, those three point attempts. And watching Malik Beasley over the years, Smitty, he is built to score. 
Yes, he is, Kevin. He's out there to put the ball in the bucket, and he can get hot in a hurry. When that happens, just keep feeding him the rock. Now here's Butler. He's got 13. Four on the clock. Adebayo passes to Hero. Tyler Hero! Him on the bio. It looks like Tyler has his own version of Hero Ball. Here's Middleton. He's got five. Deep foul. Number 13. Him on the bio. First personal foul. First team foul. Third and fourth free throw shot to the night. Shooting for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton. Two, Two shots. Additional for Miami Heat. Jovic is checked in. Number five. Really? Jovic. And then for Milwaukee. Portis is checked in for Andrew Kumbo. And it's Matt Cunningham in for Milwaukee. Duncan. East. Robinson. And number four, Deion Wright. Middleton hits them both. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. People! Just the guys in our locker room, the coaching staff, ownership. Miami Heat, time out. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. Now it's time to call by Miami. The coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Well, we get your next game underway. We got the Mavericks and the Clippers. That's the next one coming in by. We've got our great ladies out here. We have his Brian Anderson along with the 2K Sports crew with Valley La Force. That'll be our next part of the commentary that we're ready to see. Oh yeah. Really excited right now. Ready to see what the next uh, game is all about. Hopefully there's a good one coming. What's your type? I'm going to say Dallas Mavericks might be getting in there under pressure. So I might be thinking that there might be the next game that could be underway to the next. Well, you might say so because it's going to be like a hard one to beat out. <laughs> Well, I don't know if this will happen, but you, you, you will see. You will see what happens. All right, all right. I know what you're coming for, but Mike, if that's what they all happen to be, let's see what they can do. Pressure's on. Let's see what the fight does. Might be anybody's game. You may never know. And here we have a rundown of the players you don't want on you when you're putting up a shot for leaders and blocks over the last month. Good best for Lopez. And guys, as the month has unfolded, his interior defense has gotten better and better. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Outside Robinson. Good ball movement here by Miami. Pocket is the pass to right. Butler kicks to Robinson, back to Butler, pass it to Wright, picks up a three. And Jovic gets yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss the open of a little. Plays it up off the glass. This builds it. Middleton's got four this quarter. That's three of four here to start the half. Here's Butler. Jimmy Butler throwing it down. Bucks trail by seven. And Lopez has it in the corner. Good. Uh, Lopez. 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 Third to set up. Three. Three points. Lillard's got four assists in the game. Baby and Lillard. Wow, four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Now, here's Butler. Robinson gets to right. Back 
to Butler, to the wing right side. The rebound by Middleton. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Here's Cunnington. And they got Middleton with the triple. For three. Yeah, great outside so shooting. Chris Middleton. Really fueling this run. He have gone 4-9 for the floor so far in the third. Here's Hockey. Jamie Hockey. Jimmy Waller. Now, here's Lillard. He's got 11. Down low. And with that, Back down it. it is cut down to just one just bucket one. Bucket for Gunton. Mm -hmm. It just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. To the left side wing. Right outside. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Connington against Robinson. Butler with the steal. Outside Robinson. The pass to Hawkins. Outside Butler. Pass to Jovic. Yep, that one goes to Jovic. Jimmy Butler. Up. He's on right. What's the steal? Milwaukee Bucks timeout. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Look at Jimmy Butler. He's really been playing well. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double. Whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by. Your local Kia dealers, a moment that inspires. State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by AT&T 5G, connecting changes everything. Well, we have some game fives coming up for you. For you. We've got our next part of the game, so you want to keep, don't want to miss that one out. As we got our next part of the game, to keep your eyes in coming down, that will be underway soon. But we'll stick you around here shortly after this game. Damian Lillard for three. Lillard's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bucks. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are for three point range. Pass to Robinson. On Spanish from right. Here's Jovic. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hockey. Well, good with the triple. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost tied minutes for the Dose Momento by the Heat. Leading right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Right against Willard. This is a good show. Three pointers off the mark. The Bucks train. One twenty-seven left to play in the third. And Gallinari kicks to Portis. The Bucks working the ball around. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Great defensive effort just saved. A basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Robinson. Yes. Duncan Robinson. You have to run Robinson. Elon Wright. Or he will light you up. Chipped away. 
and stolen by Wright. Now running up the court, Robinson pushing it up. Butler passes to Hawkins. It's Shady Hawkins Jr. Jay Pro, number three. And now they're shooting it. Six for all. Gave me a little bit. Robinson on the wing. To the inside. Here's Butler. Gets to the right. Jimmy Butler. 17 points for Jimmy Butler. Jim Duncan Robinson. He's an athlete. The tenacity of Jimmy Butler. Too much to contend with. Three pointer Lillard. Hawkins with the rebound. Tell. He thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Back to Robinson. Shoots over Crowder. Oh, yeah. Duncan Robinson! <laughs> what That's the end of the third quarter. 867 and Milwaukee Bucks. 59. It's the Miami Heat holding on to an eight point lead heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. The percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. It's the fourth quarter, everybody. Let's get around. Let's go, Key. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolsky has on the floor. Rozier is out there with Hero. Then it's Ben Adebayo. And it's Robinson, and it's Hawkins in the five. And so here is Miami after Chris Middleton missed from long range. Here's Rozier, rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got six rebounds here tonight. Let's it go from deep. Hawkins with the rebound. Hawkins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Inside Robinson. Pass to Hawkins. Overcoming Jamie Hawkins Jr. Hot loose. That's the heat on the break. No one near Ozier is here. Activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands, causing a lot of steals. And you also have to applaud how they've been able to create turnovers and then convert those on the offensive end. Now, here's Rogier, following the news by Giannis. down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Milwaukee Bucks, Simon. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question, toughness. One team showing it, the other allowed itself to be bullied. We're underway right now as we get this thing rolling here, as we will have some a little bit of a swap musical chairs. As our next pregame will be all for everybody. As we start things off here, it will be all for the favor. You all named to call for light bulb, and he's also along with, uh, of course, you know the other guy. It's always you just always know for Boomer. That will be the uh, starting pregame show here on the other side, and for the halftime show report, will be still the same, but it won't be difficulty on that range with the situation in between. But as you may have already noticed, I don't change it up. I just keep it the same thing like I always do. Yeah, definitely that's right. It's ever they do, and they don't really, it doesn't really change the effect. And because it doesn't happen to most of them, we know it doesn't usually change everything with the model. That's how I guess it's happened. So that's part of the next game, as you will be keeping you up here shortly. 
right underway soon for the Mavs and Clippers. Now back to Kevin Harlan. It's only on Center Beast. Let's keep back in the action. And he put some changes. He spent his track in. And Kayla Martin. New substitution for the team. Number 24, Haywood Highsmith from David Aldrin. Chris Middleton. And during that last three. Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other up. We're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, you're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Five on the clock. Harry Rozier! The jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Here's Yuck. Giannis on the Gumbo. What balance on the finish. Under the Gumbo, such a tough cover for the beat. Outside, Hero at the elbow, Martin. Pass to Rozier. Here's Heisman. The rebound by the Bucks. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just Lope a Lopez. better look. Whatever is drawbacks, Lopez has a scoring in the post in one of them. He is a nightmare for opposing defenses to deal with down low. Now, here's Rogier. On the wing, Rogier. For Beverly, again, the heel. Hurry, Trail by 12. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. Passes it to Beverly. Outside, on the Kumbo. Off the mark, a chance to trim it to single digits. The wheel is there, but the execution is lagging. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Outside, Mark. Rozier finds Martin. Now on a bio. Lopez covering. And Bale got three assists now in this one. The Walker's got the corners to go down for them here in the fourth. To the middle. Here's Connington. Second shot opportunity. Got a hand on it. Connington against out of bio. Martin for three. Three. They like to play with Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. That's Miami's ball. They're on a 16 to 7 run. To the paint. Here's on the bio. in the game. Bucks trail by 19. Pass to Beverly. Get out to Giannis. And the Bucks miss again. He's kind of lost his way in this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. Pass to Martin. Rozier against Middleton. Pass to Highsmith. Six to shoot. Hero with it. Tarnero! Another bucket down low. Milwaukee Bucks timeout. Taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now a timeout called by no one. We know that several active NBA players need to have their own podcast. Players now have a direct platform for their voice, and I think they like it. Yeah, they do. They want to be able to own their own content, want to be able to put out their different stories the way they want to. They want to be in control of everything that has to do with them. It's coming down with Tour to Wire. The 2 3 to go, 87 66. And now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game, Kevin. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Bam Adebayo. Yeah, his percentage is 
finish from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be lucky to stay in big form as long as he can. And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. Lopez left side. To halt the run, Giannis Antetokounmpo. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Now here's Rozier. Outside Butler. Two minutes. Dos. Momento. Back to Butler. Goes up from the top of the key. Lillard with the rebound. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. They they need need in no time at all. Capable of getting it done from anywhere. Lillard is adept at getting to the spot and finding his rhythm. Rogier, the pass to Hero. Back to Rogier. Here's Heisman. Hero from long range. Thought that maybe going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And, and with this win, they bring the season series to an end, guys, with a split two games apiece. Yeah, that's that's a good player good. that Jeez. really stands out, of course, in this one. It was a dazzling game for Ben intensity on the boards. Even when guys put a body on him, he somehow still beats the ball. line. No one is going to be switch. Oh, no, he's checked in one. for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Chris Lillard. He's checked in for Malik Beasley. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lillard. Throw no good for Giannis. And what I love about Giannis, yeah, he's a superstar, an MVP, a champion. But best of all, Giannis is an incredible ambassador for the game. Now here's Butler. Pass to Heisman. Hero on the wing. A three. Giannis onto Takumbo grabs the miss. He kicks it to Beverly. Down low. And he uses the glass on the way. That's you gotta like that they found something positive here. Something that maybe carry over into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. That's the end of the game. Final score. Miami Heat. 90. And Milwaukee Bucks. Just for 74. Anyway. At that time, just stretches of excellent defense. Hopefully, the scene from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by for David. Good night. Thanks very much, Jimmy. Another home win, and I know it's important to make this a tough place for people to come in and steal a win. Yeah, uh, we don't want anybody to want to come here and play against us. We don't want anybody to want to play against us on the road either. Uh, but I definitely think uh, the best thing we can do is win all the home games. You guys are protecting the court, man. Thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone. All right.
Kevin, thank you. And as our biggest moment now, as Miami Heat are up in the lead now, they have broken the series off. Now it's their turn to make their lead off. It's a 2-1 series over Milwaukee Bucks. They were trying to fight their way, but Giannis Antetokounmpo just felt like this isn't the part of the team I really like to be in. But this one doesn't happen to be the captain main man of the Bucks team. And it doesn't really happen to most of it at some point. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure how this is going to definitely affect this guy. But hopefully it might be coming in now just soon enough. 63% for the field goals for the Miami Heat. And 36 three-pointers is only Milwaukee Bucks that have turned out. Then the free throws was even up 4-4. Four and four. Fast break points and points in paint was 9-38 and 38 for Miami. Eight ch second chance points has turned to be for Milwaukee Bucks. 24-34 and 34 for Miami Heat for the assist and the bench points. Seven offensive rebounds for the Milwaukee Bucks and 29 defensive rebounds for Miami Heat. With four steals, four blocks, then three turnovers, two team fouls for Milwaukee, and six dunks performed for Milwaukee Bucks. Only 21 biggest lead for Miami Heat, 18-58 for the Miami Heat, and just only two timeouts that have remained. And now, let's present your three star players of the game. Which screen? It's all for you. Alright, thank you very much. Time to get settled in now and get this thing going. The first star the player goes into one of our big, Damian Lillard, with 16 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 out of 13 field goal range, 4 three-pointers, 11 three-pointers were being shut down. 31 performance effort, he just only stayed there for the once and get that thing through. Now, for number 2, this goes to Jimmy Butler, with 17 points. Three rebounds, six assists, one steer, seven out of twelve, and it only happened to be for the field goals and thirty performance and only one dunk. But this was not his only diet, and he has been ever taking it for a minute because the New Balance player of the game seems does it all because Terry Rozier was in a tie of it, so they are tied up with Knight with the uh, two star players. But it looks like he had a little bit more better than Jimmy Butler has. I had 11 field goals, 3 three-pointers, and 4 three-pointers. Then it was 30 performance effort, that had to be quite clear enough. But your first star player of the game for New Balance, it all goes to our attention. It goes with one, the bigger blocker better. Bam on a bio. Only three blocks was for mine, only 8 out of 11 field goal range, and did stop out Giannis on a Kubo for sure. And it was 25 performance effort. 16 points, 14 rebounds. That's a crazy guy. Well, that's right now. I hope you all enjoyed this part of the of the afternoon part of the game. Now we will take our time to switch things off and let them handle for our other side of the court and get ready for the pregame show. As we have light bulb and boomer, we'll be stepping it in for our next part of a pregame show, and we're about to be ready to get this thing settled underway. So stick around here later as we've got the Mavericks and the Clippers at Dallas at American Airlines Center, and then the Suns and Wolves at Footprint Center for 10.30 tonight. That will be for the part of it in Phoenix, Arizona, later tonight. But tonight coming up will be the Clippers and the Mavericks. Be sure to catch you around here only on Son of Beast, and because we have our most of the famous, that you all enjoyed and you all have subscribed, thank you so much. If you don't, somebody will. So yeah, since I'm watching on you, well, you better subscribe. If you don't, you're out of your life for real. You'll be with Chuck Day, like Bam on the Bio does. Yeah, don't get defended now, okay? In the meantime, thanks for joining with us, and we'll see you all again later soon. Like Bob and Boomer will be standing by, ready for the next one. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.